My name is John Lockridge, and I was with the Sheriff's Office for 25 years. Instead of telling you about my career and all my accolades, I'm going to tell you about the worst time of my life. On September 18th of 2014, I was a patrol sergeant when, after a heavy flash flood, one of my deputies called out on the radio. He did five days and 20. My vehicle was swept away by water. I'm going to try to get through the trees. I led a nine hour search. 36 hours later, I was part of the dive team that pulled my deputy, Jessica Hollis, out of Lake Austin. I could bear my troops for a year. I tried to do my best to care of myself. Eventually, I was, I was diagnosed with minor trauma related injury, well short of PTSD. A doctor recommended three months of administrative duty before being reevaluated. Enter Lee Sheriff Sally Hernandez. One week before I was due to be reevaluated, she ended my career. She terminated my 25 year honorable career without having the decency to be with me. This has led me to my platform of take care of mental health first responders. This made me a better person. This made me more appreciative person. It was a difficult processing the loss of my deputy. It was more difficult processing the loss of my agency. What characteristics do you believe make you the best candidate for sheriff? Okay, again, I worked for the sheriff's office for 25 years. Uh, a well-respected leader of the sheriff's office. I did receive two deputy of the year awards throughout that time, a supervisor of the year, and I'm the only person in the history of the sheriff's office to receive three unit citation awards from work on the dive team, volunteer for Katrina response team going to New Orleans, and my work on the SWAT team. Uh, I was fortunate to work for leaders like Thorne Bailey, Margo Fraser, Greg Hamilton. These leaders weren't perfect by their own admission, but they fostered a family environment. They showed compassion. They, they, the family environment, environment, we supported each other while holding each other accountable. Um, I, I'm a proven leader in the Sheriff's Office. Again, they voted me their supervisor of the year. I worked side by side with the men and women in the Sheriff's Office for over a quarter of a century. I promoted through the ranks. I have literally been through hell and back with them. They respect me as their leader, and I have the experience with the Sheriff's Office, the knowledge of the Sheriff's Office, knowledge of the Sheriff's Office employees, uh, the integrity, and obviously the passion to, to be Travis County's next sheriff. Thank you. The four things that I would change are the morale of the men and women in the Sheriff's Office, mental health that is not being addressed right now, body cameras, and consistent and continuing leadership training for all supervisors. I'll try to get on all those. Morale, morale is at an all time low. The men and women there, they do not feel appreciated. I learned when I taught the DARE program, the kids with employees, uh, employees don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. The employees of the Sheriff's Office do not feel like they have care for at all, which leads us to mental health. The first message that was sent to 800 employees about their mental health from the current sheriff was do not ask for help, no matter what you do, no matter what you see. New moms, new dads, when they baby calls, nothing set up, and then to receive a phone call. The culture has been set. Do not ask for help in the sheriff's office. Body cameras, every agent, many agents have them. The cops want them, community wants them, we need them. Uh, there's a lot to it, there's a strapping on cameras, but it's, we have to take it out. Leadership training. Right now, when I give a sergeant, four hour block of FMLA, K4 type stuff. No real leadership training consistent throughout the sheriff's office. Thank you. So uh, feeling responsibility for the death of someone that worked for me was difficult. Trying to process my agency that I gained more than half my life to kick through the curve was a more difficult process, but I processed it with the three Fs, most important my faith, family, and friends, and actually for thought the signal. Uh, I picked myself up, I got back up. Every time I got back up stronger and stronger and stronger, thanks to friends. Uh, I put myself through critical and stress management training. I'm so glad to be debriefed after critical incident. The incumbent has never been to a critical incident in the brief of the sheriff. I got certified in group and, in, group and individual crisis intervention and peer support. Uh, I started a successful landscaping company. I love doing it. I love seeing results. I'm the lucky one to have been terminated because the morale of the sheriff's office is so bad. When I talk to my friends there, they're beat down. So I, I these experiences have led me to a better place. It has led me to the experience. I had never been through civil service. I had never been through disciplinary process in 25 years. I learned a lot through my, through my hardships. And right now the sheriff's office does not need just an administrator. What they need right now is a leader.